Shirley is the newest biographical film directed by Josephine Decker and stars Elizabeth Moss as Shirley Jackson. And in this movie, we follow Elizabeth Moss as she plays Shirley Jackson and she lives with her husband, Stanley Edgar Hyman. And this follows a young couple that moves in with Shirley and her professor husband in the hopes of starting a new life together. They find themselves father for a psychodrama that inspires Jackson's next major novel. Surely, this movie is a grace. This is a new release, so I'm going to keep it short. But what makes Shirley great is the acting. Everyone in this movie is great. Elizabeth Moss, this is going to be her year. The Invisible Man, this movie, and The French Dispatch coming out later this year. Oh yeah, give me more Elizabeth Moss and I ain't complaining. We've seen, I've seen Elizabeth Moss in other movies, like Girl Interrupted, but... Elizabeth Moss is one of those acting talents that needs to be seen a lot more in the film. I know she does a TV show, but I gotta say, this movie, she really shines here once again. She was the best part of The Invisible Man as well. Michael Stahlberg is really great as the husband. Steve Vinovich is also really great as Henry, but also the young couple, Logan Lerman, where the hell has he been? He plays Fred Nemesser and Odessa Young, who is a newcomer, who I can't wait to see more of. She plays Rose Nesmer, and Logan Lerman and Odessa Young have great chemistry. They do a really great job as the young couple. But it's really, this is more of Elizabeth Moss's movie, just like The Invisible Man was. Direction in this movie is great. Josephine Decker, she knows what she's doing. She does a great job in the directing department. And not only that, but she also, but she knows what she was up to. And Elizabeth Moss also produced this movie, so... Kudos to Elizabeth Moss, because Elizabeth Moss is awesome. Elizabeth Moss is awesome. And she does a great job with this movie. Yeah. Cinematography, music, and editing are all really, really good. The one kind of gripe is that it's a little too short. Because this movie is an hour and 47 minutes. But again, this is a biographical film. And not every biographical film needs to be two, two and a half to three hours. Sometimes, shorter is better. And I'm not going to attack the movie here for it. But overall, this was a nice surprise. For a movie that was also going to come out in theaters that was that premiered at the Sundance Film Festival, and instead they decided to just put it on streaming services. Damn, this is another good one. This move this year is surprising me with some movies I expect to like, even older movies. Holy crap! I will give without the shadow of a doubt. The acting is because of the strong acting, because of the direction, writing, and cinematography, which is done very well, and the editing is done very well. And because of what this movie is doing, it playing with this couple being the basis of a book, she's gonna be the, the title character is gonna be writing. And because of all that, I'm gonna give. Surely, a, a, be, a better than Vampire Diaries. Let me know what you guys think about this movie down below. All my social media links are in the description box down below if you want to follow all of them. If you all like to email me privately to donate money to my time or send fan mail, you can do both of those as well. 
and you guys keep cool and join the epitaskness.